How did it, everyone? All right. So you read the title right. Um, this is no joke. I'm being dead serious. I've been planning on moving on from Survive the Killer. Now, don't take this too like literally. I'll always come back and do videos on Survive the Killer from time to time. Of course, I'm not fully quitting Survive the Killer, but I want to do different stuff. You see, lately there hasn't been really many updates out. I think. Last one we had was around uh, St. Patrick's Day. And yeah, that's pretty much it. After all of that, we haven't gotten an update. As a content creator that makes content out of this game every single day with a new idea, it's kind of difficult when there's no new content being brought to Survive the Killer. Like you guys always see me trying to do different types of challenge videos, different killer videos, and not the same stuff all the time. And since there's no updates, there's no, there's nothing to be working on. Then I just don't know what else to do in this game. I will still do that giveaway I wanted to do on Christmas. I'll still finish the animation series I was doing. Um, part four, uh, really quick, part four. It's gonna be a short video, but I recently, I think uh, yesterday I started working on it. So that's that. But uh, yeah, and lately, on Survive the Killer, uh, most YouTubers is just nothing but trading videos and offer videos. What would people offer for this? What would people offer for that? Uh, concept videos, showing off concepts uploaded by users on the Discord server. And more trading videos, and that's not the type of content I enjoy doing. I don't really like trading or offering people for stuff. That's really not my cup of tea. So I'm planning on letting those YouTubers do their thing and I want to move on into new things. Stuff that I have fun doing on this channel. I don't want to do YouTube forcing myself to play something I'm not having fun with. I want to have fun with my job, even if the support is big or the support is not as much. For example, my heart is on horror games, shooter games, Mario games, Sonic games, Survive the Night, Murder Mystery, would you guys believe me if I told you that I had more fun playing Murder Mystery for 10 minutes than playing Survive the Killer? Now wait, 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 before you attack me, let me tell you why. Considering I play Survive the Killer every single day to make content, as soon as I played Murder Mystery, it's something new. It's a new experience for me. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm still discovering stuff. There's so much stuff I still don't know on Sur- Not- See, I almost said survive the killer. I have played this game too much. There's so much stuff I don't know about murder mystery and that's what keeps it entertaining and fun. There's new stuff I'm discovering and there's new goals. That is what's missing on survive the killer for me. I have all the knives, I have all the killers, I have everything I need on that game, I'm max level. There's nothing else for me to do. So it's not as exciting as playing different games. Like there's so many games out there in Roblox, there's like thousands and thousands, I feel like millions. And you know, I want to be a YouTuber who reaches a bunch of communities, not just one. I want to do big steps, I want to meet new people, new players, find new games, new communities, and most importantly, have fun with what I'm doing. I want to be myself and play games that I enjoy playing. I know the support might not be the best or as good as Survive the Killer videos do, but it's something I want to do and I have fun with. I hope you guys are okay with this decision. Like I said, I'm not gonna be quitting the game completely. Just wanna try new things. Hope you guys enjoyed this little talk and I hope to see you guys in the next video. See ya.